Hello guys, welcome to Koa Academy and in this video we'll be talking about a very important topic and that is the difference between stocks and bonds. Now people often get confused so let's start discussing the two. The first difference when when it when it comes to stocks and bonds is let's talk about the meaning. So stocks are equity instruments carrying ownership interest. For example, if if Mr. X owns 10 shares or stocks, remember stocks and shares is the same thing, 10 shares in a company, then it means that he has the ownership to the extent of 10 shares in that company. Whereas bonds, whereas bonds are debt instruments with a promise to pay back the money with interest. Money with interest. For example, if I bought a bond of $100 in a company, then that bond essentially is a promise between me and the company that I will get, get the initial principal amount which is $100 and I will get interest payments also. Talking about return, stocks in, in stocks the return is called dividend. So when the company makes profits it distributes that to stockholders or equity holders in the form of dividend whereas the return in the case of bonds is called interest. Interest payments made by the company to the bondholders are called interest. Return guarantee, well, in case of stocks or shares, there is no return guarantee. Company will only make pay dividend to the shareholders or stockholders if there is a profit left after paying all the expenses and if the company management is willing to pay the dividends. Remember, it's up to the company management to pay or not to pay dividend. But of course, uh, they, they can only pay the dividend if there is profit. Without profit, they can't pay any dividend. In case of bonds, remember, dividend is paid irrespective of the fact that the company is making profit or not. Interest is an expense just like any other expense. For example, the company is paying rent for the building. Then just like that rent, interest is also an expense. So interest is not the distribution of the residual interest like dividend interest is an expense so company has to pay that that's just like company has to incur the rent um, uh, expense of rent it has to pay interest payment so yes in case of bonds the return is guaranteed regardless of the whether company is making profit or not interest will be paid additional benefits stockholders or shareholders have voting rights in the company for example if the company uh, is is going to make an important decision about the expansion of business then stockholders do get to do get to have a say in that decision uh, by having a vote vote for that decision whereas for bondholders they don't have any voting rights in the company but they have preferential treatment when bond matures or or when the company is wound up okay so the thing is when the company is wound up for example it has an asset the company currently when the company is wound up the, it has assets of hundred dollars now those hundred dollars will be first paid to bondholders okay and if there is anything left it will be paid to stockholders in case the company is dissolved and when the bonds mature they the bondholders do get the money uh, on preferential on preferential terms before they do get the money before the stockholders so these were the differences between stockholders and bondholders uh, in case of other in case you want to watch other videos do do uh, do do subscribe to the channel and explore the different playlists in this channel thank you